AAA, Stephanie Milani here to talk about gas prices and the things that might be impacting it. So before we get into the why and what's going on, let's get to the prices. Where do you want yeah. to start? Uh, we'll do national. Okay. All, all good news, all prices are falling. Right. The national average is 344. That's down about three cents from last right. week. Tennessee's average is well below that. We are at 309. That's about six cents less than last week. Right. And Knoxville is 306. We're less than a penny different from last now, week. I read something where like Nashville and Chattanooga had like this big price drop, but we didn't. I mean, were we already there or was it just? Yeah, we were already pretty low. Um, they were above the state average last week. So we did see some areas, some metros that had even double digit drops. Um, but Knoxville's, uh, I think the third lowest metro. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess I, I don't know if you, you would, I don't know how to explain that because it seems like, well, look, we're all big cities in the state. We're all within a couple hours of each and then all of a sudden there's drops way more. Yeah, it's it's very yeah. complicated. A lot of it is what the station's yeah. paid for it, what the market can right. bear. A lot of factors. I struggle with algebra, so I'm not going to even <laughs> try to figure out what the, what formula they're using. All right, so gas prices. We have spring break just just starting. Yeah. Does that impact it, or are we more of these kind of the banking system, the economy? What, what what's having its impact? Both. So spring break is helping to keep prices up. Whereas if we didn't have spring break and some, you know, increased spring demand, we would probably be talking about lower price, okay. even lower prices at the pump because of what happened with the banks. So, you know, two regional banks collapsed last week. Right. Um, you know, the feds are talking about interest rates. Right. There's some, you know, nervousness about a recession. So all of that has made crude oil prices fall to the lowest that we have seen since December of 2021. Right. So we're, we could see some additional drops at the pump, but not necessarily for great reasons. You know, um, among I was gonna them. say, that what's good when you're going, you know, this is also bad because of why yeah. it's happening. What about travel trips? Are people taking their spring break vacations or? Yeah, so we just, you know, we, we just had spring break. Uh, right. Others are, are taking spring break right now. But what we are seeing is that more people are wanting to travel. So AAA surveyed Tennesseans, and half of Tennesseans said that they were going to take more vacations this year compared to last year. So we're we're talking about s summer travel right, right now. Okay. Now's the time to book. Um, you know, gone are the days when you could get a last minute cruise for really cheap. There's just not that inventory. You know, every plane you get on is, is yeah. full. They're asking people to move. So what we're really stressing right now is for people to book early to get right. those best deals, work with a travel agent so that they can help you kind of get those perks and also look into travel insurance. So yeah. you want to protect that travel investment. It's, it is like that for the planes. Uh, my last 10 trips, I think there have been one time that there was a seat in between me and someone else. Every, yeah. They're just packing them full. Stephanie, thank you very much. Let's go over now to Lori.